Okay, test, 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 test. Okay, we're gonna kick off in one minute, so feel free to have a seat. I know people are still trickling in, and 9 a.m. is aggressive start time for a cybersecurity conference, but I appreciate you all being here and um, coming down this morning, so. Thank you. <laughs> the boss is here, so I can start. Okay, welcome everybody to the B-Side Salt Lake City Conference. Really appreciate you coming out and being a part of the community and participating today. I just wanna say thank you to everybody who put a lot of work into this year's conference. There's been a lot of people, more than just on this slide, that have really um, gone above and beyond to make the events and communities and sessions possible that are here. Um, so really appreciate all your hard work. Uh, I want to say special thanks to Waylon Grange. Uh, he built the electronic badge. Uh, so if you purchase the electronic badge, there are some challenges on there. And he said you're, you know, he wants people to kind of work together to try to solve them. So, so you know, definitely have some fun with that. And huge thanks to Waylon for doing this can't understate how much time and effort goes into producing these electronic badges. And just want to say big thank you to Ostrid. She took over the whole registration process, so she's probably not in here right now. But um, she, you know, the notebooks and all the packets that are together, you'll probably notice we're much better organized this year than we were last year, and that is all her. So huge shout out to her and, and huge thank you. And then just shout out to everybody who's in the, you know, on the board and, and donated their time through the year to help make this event possible. We are a nonprofit, um, and we, do, we will have a members meeting at, at the end of the conference today if anybody wants to come and talk with us. Um, so just want to you know, say big thanks to them. Also, big thanks to 801 Labs. They're, they're doing a really cool community day that I'll talk about as well as a lot of their members are helping run the workshops that are tomorrow, so I know they've put a lot of hours into this event as well, and really appreciate that. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Bryce Coons, so uh, I'm the president of the nonprofit that runs this event. Uh, I used to work in the government on the defensive side as well as the offensive side, and uh, I founded Stage 2 Security, which we just got the press release out yesterday, has been rebranded Ultraviolet Cyber. Um, so super excited about that. And uh, you know, if you ever need anything, I'm on the Discord. There's a link on the website. You can, anyone can join the Discord. I try to monitor that and respond quickly. I'm also on Twitter if you want to DM me. I'm just not, I don't, I don't always check social media as well. Um, I get a little stressed out with the social media, so. So B-Sides, we really have three goals with this event. So the first one is we really want to help you build more connections. So we want to help you communicate uh, with other people, whether they're you know, just getting into the industry or whether they're kind of industry ex experts. And we want you to kind of learn more through these connections. So we try to build a lot of the sessions to be interactive and we try to you know, say everyone's a participant, right? It's not like you're just attending, you're, you know, actively attending, right? So you're a participant. 
And really, as we start to communicate more, that's going to help our community grow. One of the major reasons that I do this, well, the major reason, is I really want to give back to the community. I really want to help us grow. And I want to help us you know, provide the facility to help each other more. So, and then lastly, it's kind of a side effect of, of building the community. People will start to help each other out more, which helps us all kind of grow our careers. Uh, I know a lot of people have been able to find jobs to get into the industry, as well as a lot of people who are into the industry, find connections to kind of move up in the career ladder, and um, that's awesome to see. So I want to encourage, you know, just continue to help each other out. You know, B-Sides is really for the people, by the people. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the people who are submitting for the sessions and for the communities and for all the effort they're putting into it, um, you know, this event wouldn't exist. So, um, you know, I just want to say if, if you see an area where something's lacking here, um, you know, would love to have you help out more next year. Um, and just also, you know, whatever, you know, wherever there's gaps where people can help. Um, you know, we kind of get out of the vet what we put in, so as a community. Just so that you're aware from a logistics standpoint, we're in this building right here that's marked in red, the KGMC right now. Um, so connected to this building and upstairs is the PD, or MPDC, which is where kind of like the soldering village is gonna be, as well as um, the 801 Labs, really cool community and some other stuff. And then in the other building, which is kind of this direction, uh, that's the MFEC. Uh, we're gonna have some great um, uh, events over there, which I'll go over. Um, so just realize there is stuff in both buildings and you know, feel free to walk between them. Wanna say huge thank you to the sponsors. I, we really can't do the event without the sponsors. Um, so please go visit the sponsors, talk with each of them. You know, if there's something that's of interest to you, definitely set follow-ups. Uh, like, we, we can't do the event without them. Uh, they're a huge support. Um, and namely, I just want to, you know, call out, you know, DigiCert has been a huge sponsor of this conference since the beginning and uh, really appreciate their continual support. Rubric is their first year sponsoring and great to see them. Adobe uh, has sponsored again this year and is going to sponsor kind of a women in tech um, uh, meeting tomorrow, so that's great. Uh, Pope Tech is helping. All the AV, um, which is online on the YouTube website, is, is really because of Pope Tech, right? So they come and they do this every year, and um, you know that's uh, you know the only way that we have kind of a recording of the event. So really appreciate what they're doing. If you have friends that aren't here at the event, or like just say you're not in this room and you want to see what's going on in this room, if you go to stream.bsidessoc.org, it'll redirect to the Twitch page, and there'll be a live stream of this on Twitch. Um, so you can always check out what's going on here, even if you're not at the event or if you're in one of the communities or something like that. Uh, big thank you to Stage 2. Continue to support the event. Uh, no Starch Press has donated a lot of the books that we're going to give away. There's going to be a participant raffle, um, so come to the closing ceremonies at 4 p.m. today for that, and that's gonna, we're going to raffle off some of the No Starch books. Really appreciate Health Equity and their continued sponsorship. Um, this is kind of their second year. A lot of the equipment that we use here is we're, we have access to because of St. Con. So like all the soldering irons, like all the, the advanced AV equipment for streaming, um, that's because Troy is great. I'm grateful to Troy for letting us use that um, St. Con's equipment. Really appreciate Zelda security and their first year of sponsorship, um, as well as uh, the Use uh, School of Business, uh, and also Seven Layers, and then I really appreciate Pramify coming back this year and um, doing a sponsorship again. They've got a really cool activity, uh, which is called Deadlifting for Donuts. So if you want to check that out, uh, Kenny always comes up with some really cool stuff, so I would do that. Okay, so the sponsors are just in this hallway over here. The maps that you're seeing here are on the website, as well as there's printouts that everyone should have got in their packets. There is a slight error in the printout. I apologize. A lot of this happens like 2 a.m. Bryce is building this stuff. So, so I made a slight error. Um, the panels and sessions are in the room marked as B, um, which I marked them as C. 
So if you go there, if you go to C and you just see a bunch of people with laptops, that's because you've gone to the CTF room. So come on over to the panel room. Okay, so there's cards in your packet. If you go around and you get a stamp from each sponsor, you can be entered into a raffle. The raffle prize is the new HomePod from Apple. Um, so we're gonna raffle that off at 4 p.m. Um, so just make sure that those cards get back in. Upstairs, across the way and upstairs, there's the contest room, uh, which has Marv. Uh, Marv's been, kind of runs a lot of contests. So uh, that's my advice is to drop off those cards with Marv um, so that you get in the raffle. Okay, and I just want to, one thing that we're going to do, like we're a, we're a nonprofit, we're a charity, and we really want to help other nonprofits that are in Utah. Um, so we're going to partner with kind of some other nonprofits and kind of help sponsor them and get more visibility to what they have going on in Utah. So I'm going to turn it over for a minute so, um, so uh, a representative from the camp can talk more about it. So come on up. Yes, hello everyone. My name is Sydney and I'm one of the college student leaders at the Utah Valley chapter of Camp Kessem. Um, by raise of hands, how many of you have been impacted by cancer, whether you yourself or someone that you know, or if you know someone else that has been impacted by cancer? Almost every single hand was raised. Um, it's an unfortunate statistic. So Camp Kesem is a nonprofit that creates summer camps for kids ages 6 to 18 that have been impacted by a parent's cancer. Um, these kids are often the, the forgotten victim of, of cancer, and so we want to provide them a free resource where they can just be a kid again. We want to give them a piece of their childhood back, and so not only is this a week of fun for the kids to go to where they can be surrounded by a group of peers that understand what they're going through, but we also try to support the kids throughout the year with other events and things like that. So we currently have raised enough funds to send 120 campers to camp this year, but there are currently 26 other kids that are on the wait list, and we need to raise about $10,000 to get those kids off the wait list and so that they can go to camp and experience the magic um, that it brings into their lives. And I can speak to that firsthand because I was a camper at this camp growing up, and um, I can honestly say that it changed my life. So we have a booth um, out there, and we'll be there all day today and all day tomorrow. And so if you guys have any questions, you can come to our booth, and we're, we'll always have a representative there that can answer any questions. We have pamphlets, and we also have a QR code if you feel so inclined to donate to help us send these 26 more kids um, to camp so that they can find, find healing um, through the difficult things that they experience at home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really would encourage you to come and you know, talk with them. They, they have a booth out with the sponsors, and, and you know, if you feel so inclined, you know, help them kind of meet their goals. So um, I think it's a great cause. OK, so I'm going to talk about some of the um, fun events that we, that we have going on here. Uh, so 81 Labs, they upstairs uh, across the way, they've got the keep. And this is really like kind of a hands-on type community uh, where they have different activities for you to do. One's called the Exploit Armory, as well as one's called the Dungeon. You can check out more details about it on the schedule, um, but they put a lot of effort into it, so I'd highly encourage you to swing by and check that out. And they're bringing in some equipment for it, right? Some hardware, so um, it's just upstairs uh, right here on this map, uh, the D room, as in dog. Also, just huge shout out to Matt Lormer. He's got a project for you to solder. Um, he'll be upstairs across the way as well. Um, so uh, it's different than last year's. So if you did last year's and you liked it, definitely stop by. Um, you know, they, they may be a few minutes late getting that kicked off this morning, but they'll be going through the day. So um, definitely check that out. And that's just upstairs in room E. So um, I have a set of headphones um, that Waylon is going to determine a winner for, right? 
Um, so Waylon's going to be up in that soldering room as well. Uh, he's the creator of the badge. So if you want to know how to win those headphones, go talk to um, Waylon a bit more. Um, so, but he's looking for the person who can do the most interesting thing with the badge, right? So. Um, Kevin Lustig has led the way with putting together a spectacular CTF. If you go to ctf.bsides.soc.org, uh, you'll be able to register, and uh, you can register as an individual or as a team. Both of those are acceptable this year. And uh, we have a room that's kind of in the back this year, because I guess we were you know, in the back this year, uh, so you can be as noisy as you want, right? And then, um, uh, and, um, you know, you can sit there with your laptop and hack away and work on the CTF as a team or as an individual. So there are some prizes for individuals who participate in the CTF. So there's kind of three prizes for individuals, as well as um, if you um, participate as a team, the winning team will get uh, five um, passes to B-Sides next year, including if the electronic badge for next year. So, so, um, so there will be a prize for the, uh, the winning team as well. So, so individuals can win these prizes, um, and then the, the winning team will get five of those badges next year to 2024. I also just want to bring up that there is a really cool um, network and endpoint CTF event. Um, that's based around Zeek and EDR um, software in the endpoint. Um, so this is just going to be across the way and upstairs, and um, Eldon is going to be running this. Um, so if you're kind of more, you want to get more experience with some enterprise-ready defensive tools, um, then I definitely encourage you to come check out that event as well. Um, it, that is just upstairs in room I is an igloo. And there is a prize for whoever gets first place in that CTF, um, which is this Mario Kart Live kit. So. so for all the contests, in order to collect the prizes, you have to be here in the room at 4 PM today. So all the contests are really just today. Um, today is really focused on the communities and panels and sessions. Um, and tomorrow is really focused on kind of helping you level up your skills through workshops and things like that, hands-on things. So, um, as well as the Women in Tech event is tomorrow. So, so that's kind of the way things are laid out for this year. Um, so come back at 4 p.m. if you're interested, and we'll be raffling off some prizes. There is also a social media contest. So whoever does the best post on social media with the hashtag Beside Salt Lake City, um, can win this Lego bonsai tree at 4 p.m. today. The, um, look, we're all like kind of a donation of an event, right? So I really need your help to get the word out and help keep growing the event. We don't have like a dedicated social media team or anything like that. Um, so the more that you can help post stuff out to social media, I, I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, that goes a long way to help the event grow for next year. As I said previously, there will be a participant raffle. We have a bunch of books from No Starch. Really appreciate their sponsorship against this year. You just need to make sure that you're checked in via Eventbrite and present at 4 p.m. And, um, and then we're going to pick some winners there. So um, you just need to make sure you, know, you checked in through the Eventbrite and through registration. And that's going to be here at 4 p.m. So there is one last prize which is the, we're going to have two panels today. So we're going to have a panel in the morning that's about getting into cybersecurity. I believe that's at 1030. And that's going to be in the other building. And there's going to be another panel later in the day in that same room that's going to be about how you can use AI or like chat GPT for, um, you know, for cybersecurity reasons, right? What, how's, what's the implications of that? And how are you effectively do that? We've got some great panelists on both of those. So I highly encourage you to come there and ask questions to the panelists. Um, the best question, uh, we'll get this uh, Princess Peach Lego set at the final today. So I encourage you to come uh, participate. And the sessions are in the other room, and they're going to be in track B.
Um, in addition, in between the panels, in kind of the atrium area, um, outside of the panel room in the other building, we're gonna have a networking event. I believe this kicks off at like 11.45 noonish. And there's actually gonna be booths where people are gonna be demoing tools. So kind of like a little mini arsenal area, right? So highly encourage you to come over there and check out the demos. I know I saw some really cool ones that people were prepping. Um, and also it's a networking event. So if you're a student or you're looking to get into the industry or you're looking to move up, highly encourage you to come over there and just kind of see what careers and, and what opportunities are there. And that's just right there in that Z area, kind of on the other side. The map for the venue is up on the website. I think you all know where registration is, hopefully by now. If you are a speaker or presenter, there is a speaker prep room in the other building. Um, so Bryson is kind of in charge of that and uh, really appreciate all the work he put into the, C the CFP and coordinating the speakers this year. Uh, the main sessions are going to be here today in this room. Uh, you can also see them on stream.bsizeslc.org, which will redirect you to the Twitch. The panels and maybe a few other sessions are going to be in this other room in the other building, um, the MFEC 101. So highly encourage you to check out those sessions and panels as well. Check out the schedule on the website. If you're on a phone, the like first link on the website works a little bit better, um, in my opinion. But um, you know, feel free to use whatever view is convenient for you. We talked about the networking event. We talked about the communities. And we talked about the CTFs. Tomorrow, there's going to be a women in tech panel. Um, so check the schedule out for that if you want to come out for that. As well as um, the soldering uh, stations are going to be here tomorrow. Um, but uh, there's going to be a different workshop and a different uh, challenge. So there's actually some fresh hardware that we just got in this week. And so you're going to be getting access to that fresh hardware if you come in tomorrow. I really appreciate all the, all the work that um, A Hall has put into that. And uh, the, the badges are really, they're cool. So come by tomorrow. Also, 801 Labs said they'll run the keep again tomorrow. So if you don't get a chance to do that today, definitely check that out tomorrow. There's also a ton of good workshops, right? So we got like hack your first uh, Android app. So this room is going to get split into four tomorrow. And there's going to be at least 45 seats in each room. So come bring your laptops tomorrow. Come sit down and do some hands-on stuff. So um, in one of the rooms, we're going to have hacking Android apps, as well as building offensive tools in Rust. In another room, we're going to have a hacking the APIs workshop, as well as there's going to be a book giveaway. Uh, the author of the Start Hacking APIs book is going to give away and sign some books. So come by for that. And then in the afternoon, there'll also be a hacking with Metasploit class here that I know has been quite popular in the past. There's a new one uh, that I think is a really great topic, uh, which is setting up your own password manager tomorrow. How do you do that? How do you get off LastPass? We all know LastPass has been breached in the last year. And let's you know, just be honest, like a lot of the cloud services have had breaches in the past. So, so we're, they're going to kind of show you how you can set up your own uh, password management system uh, so that way you, know, you don't be affected by those breaches in the future. And then uh, Brad has a really cool phishing workshop scheduled for tomorrow where he's going to dive into a lot of how to actually fish for red team engagements under the hood, uh, which is kind of a... a a really interesting um, problem to solve when you kind of get into it, because you know just getting through spam filters and all the other countermeasures is, is more difficult than it, it might seem from the get-go. And he'll go over that all that tomorrow. Schedules on the website, definitely check that out. Mobile app, uh, there's like a mobile version, which is kind of that first link. Uh, so definitely check that out if you're on your phone. Just want to once again thank the board uh, for all the work they put in this year um, at 5 p.m. today. So after closing, closing ceremonies will be in this room at 4. Then at 5 p.m. today, we'll have a members meeting. Anybody who wants to come talk to the board um, about the nonprofit and, particip and potentially participate more in the nonprofit, please you know, stick around and come talk to us at 5 p.m. or shoot us an email. And yeah, just want to thank you all for coming out. Really appreciate it. 
Um, and, uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by the Reg Desk. Uh, please stop by the sponsors, talk to the sponsors. Uh, they're, you know, they make this event possible. And once again, just thank you sponsors for all you do. So, all right, that's it from me. Enjoy the event. Uh, we'll have the first speaker kick off in about five minutes in here. So, thanks.